Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the artboard in Adobe Illustrator to save a image that you may have in a usable format and usable size for use on a website. So what we're going to do is we have our file, our Adobe Illustrator file, and we want to save just a portion of this. We don't want all this white space around here. We want to save just a portion of it in a smaller file that's able to be used easily on our website. So what we're going to do is choose the artboard tool which is down here and that's going to change the screen you can see into basically our page size or our paper size that the drawing was actually originally made in. And What this allows us to do is draw a box around the area we want to save. You'll notice when I get towards the edges here it turns green um, meaning it's hit the edge of that uh, that image and so I don't like using the very edge because sometimes that gets cut off so we're gonna just stretch it a little bit beyond that and release it and I'll show you down here why it doesn't always work so we've reached the edge on that side we're gonna make it a little bigger but if you notice when you bring it up on the bottom it turns green but it actually has cut off part of our Y in CNET sys um, and we don't want to do that so it, it doesn't always correctly sense the edge of that actual image and so we're gonna pull it down a little bit to make sure we get in our whole image we're gonna stretch it over a little bit make sure that uh, everything is contained in there and what we do next is we go to file we want to save this for web and devices meaning we want to save this as a file that's small enough in the correct format to be used on our website so I'll click on that. That's going to open up another dialog box, which is here. And what this is, is this is our different versions for allowing us to save uh, this file. And it's not overwriting our original source file. This is making a new file. You can do what it thinks is, if you choose optimize, it's what it thinks are the best settings. Two up and four up will actually let you choose different ones. Um, and you can choose different settings over here but for our purposes we're going to go to optimize and what we've been doing lately is rather than saving it as a JPEG we've been saving it as a PNG and when you choose PNG you'll notice and this may or may not be uh, on by default on your setup but you'll notice that you get a checkered background here and what this checkered background does is allows us to have it as a transparent background so if we were to put this on something other than a white background that background, if it was gray or blue or whatever color it may be, um, our image would show up on top of that background, but yet you'd see that background through where these checkered uh, spots are. If we don't have transparency and you lay this image down on top of a, let's say, a uh, uh, orange background, you're going to have a white box that your logo sits in, whereas if we use transparency, you'd actually see the orange background fill in back here. And so you also notice that when we change file sizes, you can see and this is a 28.8 modem uh, speed. You'll see that this loads in three seconds. This is a nice small file size. If we choose some of the other ones, you'll see that they also say they stay small. GIFs another one to use with the transparent background. Uh, JPEG files are actually a little larger, but for our purposes, we're going to choose PNG. Um, and we can choose PNG 8, and it'll actually stay a little smaller file size. Um, 8 would be the number of colors that it saves, 24 would be the, the palette also that saves. We don't have a wide palette here or a lot of colors so we can actually use PNG 8. And what we're going to do now is simply click Save. We can choose our file location that we want to actually have it saved at and we're just going to leave it right here as CNET and we're going to save that file and that file is now good to use and we can plug that in uh, into our HTML on our website and use that file with the transparent background. Now we're back to the original file you'll see that we actually didn't lose anything, it didn't overwrite it, we've never changed it, so we actually didn't change the original file that we had and we can turn off the artboard if we want uh, just by clicking on another tool. And you'll notice that none of the changes were made to this actual file here. And that's the end of the demonstration of the Adobe Illustrator art tool.